The richest man in Asia's son just had a pre-wedding party with a bunch of celebrities and billionaires, but it raised some questions about wealth distribution in India. Let's read the title. Anant Ambani, world's rich in India for tycoon's son pre-wedding gala. And uh, there were some viral videos that came out of it, Andrew, whether it was Zuckerberg and his wife, whether they were real impressed or fake impressed by Anant Ambani's Richard Mill watch. Let's run that clip. The watch is fantastic. I oh, know, I told him already. Oh, wow. That is so cool. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know, I, I never Who really wanted that? to get Richard a watch. Mill. But after I seeing think, that, I was like, you know, watches are cool. I might want that. That went viral. Also, this clip, Andrew, of Bill Gates getting a tea from a chai walla. One chai, please. Let's trace the dot tech style. I don't, I don't think Bill drank that chai. I don't think he drank it. He might have did the little uh, sip, like the purified yeah, pee water yeah. sip. I, I don't think he drank it. Um, there's <laughs> other clips, Andrew, of Rihanna dancing, performing. She got paid $9 million. She starts to twerk on the dance floor, but then she kind of catches herself. And it's like, oh, I remember where I'm at. This is a conservative place. Yeah, it's kind of interesting, I guess. You, you got Rihanna performing. You got Bill Gates. You got Mark Zuckerberg. Basically, all these powerful people. But apparently, it's just the pre-wedding party. So that wasn't even the actual wedding. But I know that Indian weddings are quite elaborate. Yes, I have not been to an Indian wedding yet, but I have heard depending on, you know, how much wealth you have your of your, your family has, it can go on for a week or a couple days. Hey, listen guys, we're going to break it down. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Also, Andrew, uh whether you're the richest man in the Asia or not, you can get smala sauce. Smala sauce. It's not really a luxury good, but you know, it's just really good. I don't know. Uh, Check it out. We're coming back soon. And East Asian weddings, or even from what I know, Southeast Asian weddings, generally not as elaborate. Indian weddings are taken very seriously from what I know. I'm not an expert on them, but I know that they are probably the most extravagant weddings in general. Like, I want to say on earth. Yeah. Like I had, I knew Indian people who knew that they either had had a gigantic wedding or a tiny wedding and they went with the tiny wedding. It's I heard it's that that your average Indian couple will spend 11% of their lifetime's earnings on the wedding. I mean, I hope they make a lot of it back too in the wedding gifts. But anyways, David, I guess what's the real controversy about it? Because we're just saying this is a rich Indian guy. Obviously his dad is worth about 116 billion, right. which is a lot of money. Right, and if you guys don't know, they do like petrochemicals, they yeah. do financial institutions, they. Uh, telecom they got a bunch of stuff but he threw this extravagant wedding which technically there's nothing wrong in throwing an extravagant wedding if you're rich you got money you want to throw a sick wedding right. i and get it's it good for networking too right i get it but obviously at a time when in social media where everything gets spread and there's kind of this eat the rich type attitude what's the what's the controversy well i mean obviously there was a lot of articles that came out about wealth distribution or what is this guy who's worth 115 billion doing to alleviate poverty of course there's a lot of people coming back saying he has a ton of foundations and a ton of philanthropy but then when you paid rihanna 9 million a lot of people are kind of like well, what could that nine million gone and have done, right? Right, right, right. Um, I'm not here to judge. I think he's rich. He should be able to do it. But obviously, it's different. Like, for example, here's my quick thoughts. Everybody's like, yo, Rich Zuckerberg and his wife didn't know what a Richard Mill watch was. It's a million dollar watch that Anant Ambani is wearing. People don't understand. They're Silicon Valley tech people. They are against that type of stuff. Well, so it does not surprise me that Zuckerberg not only doesn't wear watches, Zuckerberg, by the way, at one point was the richest man in the world, and he doesn't care about. No, he he literally says in the video, he's like, you know, I never really uh, I never really wanted a watch. I mean, I do. I think watches are cool. And he, no, tries he goes, to he, back goes up. You made, he goes, you made me think it was cool. You made me think it was cool. Like he kind of she just goes, maybe I should get one now. And she goes, and then Priscilla goes, yeah, you should get this one. He goes, no, 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 not this one, but. Just watches in general. The, the concept is okay to me. Well, I think Mark Zuckerberg, to be honest, as a rich person in America, he doesn't floss that crazy. Even though we all know he's very rich, he flosses with like his properties. But clothing-wise, he's well, not he's flashy. he's famous for being worth, I believe, $100 million and for sleeping on a mattress on an empty one-bedroom No, floor. and he's also famous for wearing like the same shirt every day for like 10 years. Well, not the same shirt, tech, but the- Tech rich is different than business rich. Yeah, we all tycoon, understand. tycoon mogul rich. I think Zuckerberg knew what a Richard Mill was, but he just doesn't like 
care. I, I actually don't think he knew what it was, to be honest. I, I don't think he keeps up with the watch world. Anyway, let's just get in the comments section. Someone said, yeah, I got these billionaires an air fryer and a paper towel holder. And these kind of made me laugh, Andrew, because everybody was like, yeah, these are the most common wedding gifts that people get. Air fryers and paper towel holders. First of all, air fryers, way more useful than paper towel holders. Paper towel holders actually underrated too, though. Underrated, but the air fryer, come on. I, I give some of those moves. I think the people. air fryer is a legit gift. Um, Of course, let's get into the serious discussion, Andrew. The eat the rich discussion. Okay. Somebody said, think about how many people the Ambani family have exploited to reach this level of wealth. There's no way they got there. Other people are defending them. Other people are getting in. Some people said, crazy rich Asians are real. They live on a different planet, don't they? And then people were talking about, do you think the rich in America seem a little bit more down to earth than the rich overseas? Ultimately, the truth is this. Ancient civilizations, the way they view the hyper-rich, it's a little different than the way they view the hyper-rich in a country like America. Yeah, I think generally in America, if when you throw big parties like this, like I've heard of celebrity parties in the Hamptons and stuff like that, it's like you need so much security. And you need to downplay it, right? And you need to downplay it a little bit. And uh, it probably, you don't want it to like go on the news and well, stuff like that. Well, that's why they're having it over there on an island. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that, yeah, there is this sense in America, first of all, people do ball out a lot. But if you're super, super rich, you don't, flaunt it like that no, you don't need to because it's a little tacky to do that but it's viewed as more okay in more wealth-centric ancient society yes right? like china india i would expect i'm sure there's chinese billionaires that get the i don't know who they get. no they, 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 i before. remember that they, they used to get uh their dogs like 20 iphones for their like 100 200 iphones yeah, i don't know this like was back stupid. in the day when the iphones were like gold bars at a time at a time somebody said uh his priorities are clearly messed up because he'd rather play millions to celebs for attending his wedding instead of ordering a salad with Ozempic. This turned into a bunch of other comments. Of course, people defending him because he had a asthmatic issue. And then Anant Amani, he's like, was very heavy, obese at one point, but it was due to the steroids they were mm. giving him to fix his asthma. Right. Right. But I mean, isn't this a natural reaction, Andrew, when you see somebody who's worth $100 billion and you're just like, oh, this guy thinks he's so great wearing, you know what I mean? And then yeah. you're like picking at I his I mean, flaws. first of all, I don't think the billionaires care about this type of criticism. I'm pretty sure they're used to it. Like, you think he hasn't been called fluffy before? At least fluffy, online, but maybe not to his face Fluffy rich guy, yeah, no. I, I mean, don't think I'm, they scream it at him. I'm when, saying that he probably doesn't care about what people say online, you know? So I think it's pros and cons because, listen, you're rich, you have the money, you want to do something for your son, that's fine, That. Any family is going to do that at any tax bracket, yeah. right? Even if your family only makes 200K a year, if your family only makes 50K, you want to have like a nice little wedding to show. But no, no, there's nothing wrong with it. I do think in Asia that there's some sense of like, I was more like meant for this. I, you know, yeah. I more deserve yeah, this. Yeah, and, and listen, I'm sure they're philan philanthropic people. I'm not saying I know anything about their family or how they spend their money. Uh, but there's this a sense that rich people... It wouldn't be a bad idea to just calm down. And not, we're not, I'm not even speaking on India. I mean, even uh, Ken Griffin, right? Yeah, Ken Griffin, the the hedge fund, fund guys, man. is going to build the most expensive house in America, a yeah. billion dollars in Florida for his mom. And it's like, do you need a billion dollar house? I, I, I'm starting like, to feel like some of that flossiness that was not in America for a long time is starting to come here. You know what I mean? Like gold palace type things. I don't know. Uh, Somebody said he looks like an alternate reality version of Russell Brand. Interesting. Not he does. I would say so. Um, a lot of people were talking about Rihanna being uh, doing it because she they controlled the contract for Fenty Beauty to enter Sephora India. Uh, it is projected that India will be Fenty Beauty's largest market around the entire world. I, I had a sense that Rihanna knew that there was a business play here. That she was going to do this, perform at the wedding, but it was also going to help her you know, because Rihanna is now a billionaire. She's yeah. worth a billion dollars, and she's, well, she's probably I mean, going to she make I feel like she is very cultured, though. She's from Barbados. She's very Yeah, open. no. I mean, ultimately, there's nothing really wrong with what they did, but I just feel like billionaires could, yeah, if they want, tone it down a notch, it wouldn't be wrong. Somebody said, <laughs> how come Zuckerberg's wife seems like her social skills are so normal, and then Zuckerberg seems so not normal? And But I, I'll say this. It's like Asians, we got a way more bigger tolerance for people who seem like they're a little socially awkward because a lot of Asians are socially awkward. Right, right, right. I think we just have a way bigger like 
ability to a threshold to accept it or a more longer leash for it, to be honest. Um, you know, like Elon, you know, kind of a little bit on the spectrum, possibly. Um, somebody just said, what's going on in the world today? There's billionaires spending $150 million on their wedding. And then groceries are becoming way more expensive for the average person. And then we're forced to sit here and watch viral news about it. Yeah, I do <laughs> think, again, it's kind of weird to have the news come out and then it consume your life, make you feel something. Like if you are mad, it's kind of the news's fault. It's kind of the billionaire's fault. And then it's also a little bit of your fault, right? Everybody's has some fault in well, this game. You, you, you had to watch it. it. Yeah. The news had to feel like that was going to track on the SEO, and obviously it had to happen for there to be news. For yeah, me. and then the news, yeah, because the news wants to feed it to you, and then you have to feel some type of way about it. And it's like, man, like, I, I do think media, like, you don't, I, it's like, I don't really need to see what every rich does, person is doing all the time. Does it feel like the world is going in reverse? Because you know how back in the day, like, People would build, like, I, I feel like, at least from my studies of history, you know, there's stories of these people's, of these crazy empires and the wealth that was hyper-concentrated at the top of, like, you know, various old world, old civilization empires. And then it, like, got, like, really not like that for a while, and then it's, like, kind of going yeah. back. I, David, do you think, like, in a way it would help a lot of people if they, like, could tune these news stories out? Like, if you could... Like there's just, just there's just, just select no, to fill to protect your peace. Yeah, there's just no point in knowing what everybody is doing all the time, and especially knowing what people in these extreme levels of wealth that you'll never reach and never touch. And it's like right, they spend more on elephants at the wedding than your entire community will make for your guys' entire ten lifetimes. Yeah, no, honestly, like yeah, their wedding costed more than entire cities like GDP for <laughs> will make. <laughs> In a couple of years, right? So it's kind of like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just think sometimes, even me, I'm not poor, and I'm definitely not rich, but I'm not poor at all. I'm not broke at all, but I'm just also like, I don't really need to see this. Even me, I don't care. Like, yeah, cool, Mark Zuckerberg, you don't have a watch. That's cool to know. Like, whatever. Zuck's still keeping it with the tech. Yeah, line. Zuck, all right, you're kind of humble, Zuck, sort of, I guess. But, like, who cares? Anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comments section below. You know, shout out to them. I, I don't really feel any type of way about it, but the, the discussions that came out of this were certainly fascinating, and I, show, I think they show some sort of global temperature in terms of narratives. Well, anyways, guys, let us know what you think about all this, and until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.